Horace and the Camouflage. When I worked in customer services on the bins, I met some right daft prats for my sins. But the silliest of them all was Horace, let me tell you all. I got a call telling me the bin men where his bins are stealing. That this was somewhat unlikely was my feeling. Now if you happen to live in a house with steep narrow steps, we used our now and made the customer exempt from the wheelie bin. To make someone drag one up and down steps would be dim. What the customer was required to do was easy, nothing that they would do. They kept their old hand bin with a liner, put their waist in it, nothing could be finer. The crew then came in and took the full black bag. So easy, they did not have to nag, so I asked the crew what was the matter here. They said the customer refused to use the bag. How queer, so they had to lift his bin to the wagon outside and leave it on the grass verge, not very wide. I decided the caller, Horace, must be a very old guy, and went to see him to try to educate him on how to fill a bag, so he did not have to call me and nag. I realised what had happened when I saw a nearby school, and by having us leave the bin outside, Horace had been a fool. Over the road was a railway bank, over the wall, the kids had thrown the bins as a prank. I knocked on the door, a lad of about twenty-four answered, and I asked if his granddad was in. He was dressed to play rugby, broad not thin. He asked why granddad would be there, and sat on the patio on a chair. I asked then if Horace was in. He said he was Horace with a grin. I thought I was dealing with a confused old man, but this told this young lad my plan to get him to the black bag fill so he would not lose his bins like a dill. He said it was a lot of effort to do. I told him that to get our service he just had to. The next week I got a call from him. I really now thought him mad knocked in. He had camouflaged himself and was sat in a flower bed behind a bush covered in mud, twigs and roses red. He was going to see what my crew did. He was acting like a demented kid. I hung up and laughed out loud, then rang the lads, of whom I was proud. I told them not to notice the fool, not to laugh just because they wanted to be cruel. I also did have a serious plea that none of them go to the bushes to have a wee. Fortunately with me they did agree and pretended that him they could not see. I told you, I some daft prats did meet, and rarely for daftness did anyone Horace beat. So I was able to show that these disappearing bins were not our fault, and that the customer was a complete and utter dolt.